for the last part of the series, we're going to talk about supporting survivors. So how does IUPD approach working with survivors? First and foremost, we start by believing. We don't um, assume that the victim is making up a story, which is different than what has happened in the past with the history of um, rape victims. We don't, we don't victim blame, we support them by giving them resources, by listening, by supporting them. And again, we do a trauma-informed victim-centered investigation, putting the victim first, not trying to apprehend the suspect, not trying to um, get stats, but making sure that the victim and their emotional survivor, survival is center in our investigation. Why is it important for IUPD to be involved in Sexual Assault Awareness Month? Historically, there's this concept that police officers don't believe victims um, and they don't support victims. And we just want people to know that we are very supportive of sexual assault victims. We investigate to the fullest extent and only through an investigation do we determine whether or not it's false or not. So we support victims. We want them to feel comfortable coming to us to report. We want them feeling comfortable telling friends that they are supported and therefore they can come to us. We need victims to know that we're here for them and they are, should be comfortable coming to report a, a sexual assault. Thank you. Um, what are crime notices and why do we receive them? Yeah, Bailey, that's a good question. Um, crime notices are um, are required under the Federal Clery Act, um, which requires institutions of higher education um, to comply with various aspects of the law, crime notices being one of them. Um, these are sent out to the campus community to alert everybody of uh, certain crimes in a manner that's timely. Uh, that will aid in the prevention of similar crimes. Um, so the intent really is to provide the community with information um, so that they can make informed decisions about how to best protect themselves. So in, in a crime notice, you'll get a, a brief uh, synopsis of what was reported, um, but the most important aspect of those crime notices are the safety tips. Um, so for every Clery Act crime uh, that's reported to us, an evaluation is made uh, to determine uh, whether or not uh, a serious or continuing threat, which is the legal standard um, that we have to evaluate these for, uh, exists and, and whether or not our students and employees are at, re at risk of becoming victims of a similar crime. So if we've determined that's the case, uh, we'll issue a crime notice and um, those, will, um, those are issued via email uh, and they're also posted on our Facebook page. Great, thank you so much. Uh, thank you both for being willing and able to um, join um, with me today to do a Q&A. And thank you so much for the protection um, that you offer us here at campus. And um, we are so grateful for you. Thank you, Bailey, for giving us the opportunity to answer some questions about this. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.